hello welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine du monde a channel where we excite your taste bud today i'm going to show you all how i made this delicious abe in katikuntu and this is a mixture of peanut butter palm nut and spinach and the spinach is replacing contumery if i was in ghana that is what i would have used and i also tell you how i messed up big 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 time and I'll be asking for, for your forgiveness, that is, if you will forgive me. All right, so let's get right into it. So first, I'm going to season my good meat. I'm going to add in my ginger and garlic paste, my mixed spices. At the moment, I'm sprinkling in some adobo and I also sprinkle in some um, salt. I'll stir till everything is well mixed, then I'll cover it and allow it to cook now um today i am going to use a lot of protein you'll be seeing a lot of protein in our soup today but i still messed up okay <laughs> and i hope you forgive me so i am going to cover it and allow it to steam till it is halfway done i am going to allow it to be halfway done just because i don't want the meat to be too soft just by the time the soup is done so at this point our goat meat is halfway done i'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my protein which is my cow feet some crabs and some snails okay then i'll directly add in my um, palm nut paste i'm also going to add in um some stock from the from cooking the cow feet to loosen up the paste a little bit okay i'll then cover it and allow it to cook for about five minutes So guys, this is where I messed up big time. Um, this, so this is me pouring water into the soup right after adding my peanut butter. And <laughs> I I don't know. But I hope you, you forgive me. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm laughing. But um, you know this kind of soups take a longer time to cook. So right after adding in my um, palm nut paste, I stopped my recording, okay? So that when it gets to this point, I will record it again. But I forgot. I sincerely and ap apologetically forgot. Okay, I forgot to hit the record button. I... <laughs> I don't know so at this point I was just trying to find ways to prove to you all that I had added peanut butter to the soup already so this are some of the particles that uh, were in the soup at the moment and I I was I, I don't know but I was just trying to find ways to prove to you all that I had added the peanut butter because I missed it I missed the 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 action okay i forgot to hit the record button i realized when it was too late the time had already passed and this is me also showing you the blender i used to blend our peanut butter and i don't know i hope this is enough proof okay i am so sorry and i hope you forgive me and i know you have okay so let's get right into it so right after adding the peanut butter i added in my vegetables which is my tomatoes my onions and some habanero pepper i allow it to cook and then i took them out i'm now going to blend it and then add it to the soup right after and I also forgot to mention that at the time I was adding the vegetables, I also added in some fricasse. I'm going to go ahead and blend all of my vegetables so they are smooth enough to add to the soup so I'm going to pour it into the soup and then right after I'll add 
water into the blender rinse up the blender and also pour it into the soup okay so at this time our soup is um has been cooking for about 35 minutes and which is almost done okay as you can see it is almost done so this is the right time to put in my garnishing ingredients and some fish okay so i'm going to go ahead and add in some um cut out onions and some garden eggs to garnish the soup and also add in my fish i'll also be adding in kobe yeah i don't know salted fish yeah salted tilapia or whatever it is called sorry and um i'm going to allow the kobe to release its salt so i'm not going to add in any more salt at this point i'm going to allow the salt from the kobe to release itself into the soup and then i'll later adjust the, the seasoning of the soup okay So at this point, um, I have added in all that needs to be added. I am going to push in the fish so that it can soak the soup really well. And now I'm going to allow it to cook till I can see the oil on top of the soup. So here we are. The soup is almost done. And after the Kobe has released its salt, I realized I needed to adjust the seasoning. So I'm going to go ahead and add in one stock cube and drizzle in about um, a tablespoon of um sorry a teaspoonful of salt i'm going to stir it till everything is well mixed and at this point because i have added fish i'm going to stir gently and carefully so our fish doesn't fall apart okay and i'm also going to allow the soup to simmer on a medium low till our flavors and our seasonings marry each other very well okay then i'll go ahead and add in my spinach i've already washed and diced my sorry i've already washed and sliced my spinach so i'm going to go ahead and add it to it allow it to also simmer for about two minutes and then i'll go ahead and add in my bakpushito that's the last thing i'm going to do i'll add in my bakpushito and our soup is done allow it to simmer on a low heat and our soup is done so all i have to do is to serve and eat okay and i really enjoyed in fact the whole family we had guests over and we all enjoyed the food we served it with some fufu and we enjoyed it let me know in the comment section if you are forgiving me okay <laughs> but please if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe like comment share i am in for the sharing please share this content or any of our contents to your family members to your sisters your cousins your exes your aunties your grandmothers your grandparents i mean so please okay please share and let me know in the comment section if you have forgiven me but i know you have okay so till i see you all in my next video always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind bye